Good afternoon from Epcot. We're here for Festival of the Arts, and today we're going to be doing the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. I'm excited. We had two of the items from it, and they weren't the best. So but we're gonna try them again. We're gonna give them a second chance and see if they're a little bit better this time. But we do have three other items to try mm -hmm. that we haven't tried before, and then we get a completer treat after we try all of these. So here's a look at the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine menu. Each food item represents a different color on this palette over here and you get a stamp for each item that you eat. And then when you complete it, you get your completer stamp and then you'll get your cookie. It's a cookie shaped like a painter's palette. It looks very pretty. Um, I think it's just a sugar cookie with a little bit of icing on it. So although we have already tried the Remy's Ratatouille, I am excited to try it again because when we had it, and I'll link that video down below. So when we tried it, they had just run out and then they brought out a fresh batch while we were in line. And it seemed a little bit rushed. Like the vegetables weren't really, um, they seemed a little more crisp than I thought they should be. So I am excited to try it again to see if it tastes a little bit better, see if it has a little bit more like depth of flavor. And then the other one that we tried was the, oh, the rose, the rose in Canada. And um, we didn't love it. Jackson did love it though. So. We're gonna give that another try. Um, I'm sure Jackson will love it again, but we'll see if we like it this time. Oh, over here at expression section, it looks like it's a different mural than the one that we did. Oh yeah, this is what the mural is gonna be this time. It looks totally different. I like that they're changing it up, but I think I like the other one better. I like the colors of this one better. Yeah. Except for Figment, he's kind of like a, a darker purple than I'm used to. Yeah, he looks like he's a totally different color. Right? But I love that they added in the Mexico pavilion and they added in, what, where's the volcano from? That's in, Mexico. From inside Mexico. Yeah. Planet. And then there's a test track car. And then living with the land over here. Oh yeah. And then this is probably Mission Space. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it looks like we're in future world for the most part and then we're heading into World Showcase. Interesting. Maybe throughout the season it'll change to show all of the different pavilions around Epcot. So we were trying to come up with a game plan and we were looking at where all of the items are located and it kind of seems like you want to start in Morocco which is about halfway around and then work your way back in this direction to end at Canada so that you can pick up your completer treat here at Decadent Delights. But everything, it seems like almost everything, is on this side of the World Showcase. Yeah. So I think it makes sense to start this way. Right, so we'll go to Canada first and yeah. we'll kind of do this backwards. So we'll start here in Canada and then make our way to World Showplace and then up to Morocco and France and then to Morocco. And then we have to come back to where we're standing right now to go to Decadent Delights. And I think, honestly, it's so close to where we would exit. I think it'll be fine. Um, but if you were trying to like do it in the most time efficient way. I think starting on this side, going into World Showcase and making a right towards Canada yeah. is probably your best bet. First stop is over here by Canada at the Masterpiece Kitchen for the Vanilla Rosewater and Pistachio Panna Cotta. So this is the Vanilla Rosewater and Pistachio Panna Cotta. There's some pistachio kind of like crumbles around the outside and then some raspberry sort of like sparkly gel around it. Oh, okay. Okay, so. <laughs> Stop throwing them. Oh. There's a look at the inside. Looks uh, kind of good. It looks the same as it did last time. So you have the um, the raspberry, the the rose, and the vanilla. So let's try a bite and let's see. So I added a little pistachio to my bite to see if that makes it different this time. It still just tastes too much like rose for me. And I know that this is like called the rose, so it's going to be very rose flavored. Just not my favorite. Um, let's see, Jackson, you want to have a little bite? Remember how much you love this one? Do you like it or no? Did you like that, buddy? It smells really good right here because they're making like some maple pop popcorn next to us. <laughs> Show me with your dance moves if you like it or not. Okay. <laughs> Yes, that's a yes. Jackson loves it. So here, let me give you a little bite. I'm stealing your food, buddy. <gasps> oh, hold on. Okay. I don't mind it without the shell. Oh, yeah? Something in the shell is not my flavor palette. And that's why I wouldn't order this again. So this was $8. Mm -hmm. So that's, you're not getting a lot of food for that $8. You're getting a very pretty item, though. So you could Instagram it if you want to. So we said this is exactly what we said last time. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think that um, for me, I kind of want to see if this trail is worth it today. Right. So, eight dollars for the rose. Right. Or eight dollars in. Let's see how far we go. Right. I feel like it's already worth it because Jackson likes it. What do you think, bud? Would you order this again? You said, heck yeah, Dad. What are you looking at? Not a cloud in the sky, right, buddy? That's what we say. Yeah. All right, so from Canada, we're headed over towards the UK pavilion, but just before we get to it, we're gonna go into the World Showplace, which is a multi-purpose event space that's kind of off the beaten path, and we'll show you how to get there once we get up to the turn. One of the last times that we came, some people were confused. They said, I thought it was called World Showcase. Right. And it is, so this, all of the pavilions around the World Showcase Lagoon is World Showcase, but this specific building is the World Show Place building. Right. So. So that's where we're headed into right here. And you can see right here on the sign, it says World Showplace Festival Offerings. We've got a few items to get in here. And this large building back here is World Showplace. So we'll be getting our Remy's Ratatouille and also our pistachio cake, both here in World Showplace. So we're really pistachioing it up so far. Oh yeah, lots of pistachio. <laughs> here we are, we are headed into World Showplace. The Thomas Kincaid Studios over here. Lots and lots of art. Oh, they're like, people doing acrobats up there. Wow. There is a performance happening inside right now by a group called Art Defying Gravity. Stole something out from underneath him. Oh. So the first place that we have to stop is at Festival Favorites for Remy's Ratatouille, and then we just go right next door to Painter's Palette. I have a good feeling about this Ratatouille because there's not a lot of people in line right now. It's a very light day. Hello! Next stop, Painter's Palette for the pistachio cake. This one sounds kind of good. Is this the one that's the cinnamon thing? No, this is the Oh, this is all is, cherries. Um, it's like, it's like deconstructed looking. Oh, You'll okay. You'll see it in a second. It looks very like artsy. Okay. This is Remy's Ratatouille and this looks a lot better than the last time that we got it. This is eggplant, zucchini, yellow squash, tomatoes, and red pepper pipperade. I mean, it looks really nice. We'll just see, see if it brings me back to my childhood in the French countryside. So I think this just really shows that if you have a bad experience with a menu item, don't give up on it completely. Like try it again if you can, or if you want to. Um, Cause we heard so many people saying, oh, I had the ratatouille and it was so good. So we were like, okay, we're, we definitely want to try it again. And now that it's on the, the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine that, got, that gave us a chance to try it again. Um, and it does look so much better. Yeah. So I think last time they were just, I think they were just kind of doing it speedy to get them out quicker for everybody. But today, looks like they took their time. And admittedly, everything that's in here is not my favorite. No? No. <laughs> yeah, I thought the some... flavors were, sounded like they were gonna be really nice last time. It just didn't have a lot of flavor. Like it needed some seasoning or something. Yeah. Does it still taste like that? Yeah, pretty much. Sorry, I'm holding Jackson, so I'm sorry this shot's a little bit wiggly. It's better than it was last time. Does it does it taste or like feel like are the textures, is it cooked more? Yeah. Okay. So I think that was my big thing last time is it wasn't cooked long enough. Right. All right, it looks like you got a pretty good bite with everything in it. Hmm, okay. You see what I mean? It definitely tastes better than last time for sure. It tastes a little bit, I get more of the red pepper. I think we got more of the red pepper sauce. Right. Um, so that gives it a nice flavor. I do like that. This one was $5 and I think we said this last time. I don't know if it's worth $5 to me. It needs Parmesan cheese. And I understand that it's the vegetarian option or the vegan option. It's the, but yeah, it's actually vegan. Just it exactly as it comes. It needs the Parmesan cheese. <laughs> I'm glad we tried it again. And I'm glad that it's a little better this time than it was last time. Right. So that means that if we do it next time, gonna be delicious. This next item is the pistachio cake and this has cherry mousse and morello cherries. So I'm assuming that this is the pistachio cake, these are the morello cherries, and this is the cherry mousse. I thought the cherries were covered in chocolate, are they not? I think they might be. 
I, yeah, I wonder if that's what a Morello cherry is. Also, there's like sun-dried or dried out cherries too. Now let's give this pistachio cake a little try. I'm gonna start with the actual pistachio cake and everything on here is kind of like a one bite thing. It's very pistachio-y. It's good though. No, entirely. It's kind of like a drier cake. But there's like a pistachio mousse on top that kind of takes care of that dryness. It was good. Let's try this mousse now, the cherry mousse. Wow, that was um, strange. It was very liquidy. Also, it tasted like, you know, the inside of like cherry cordials is like a liquory type flavor. That's what that tasted like. All right, let's try this, this cherry now. It is, it is some sort of chocolate on the outside. That cherry was really good. It was more chocolate than cherry. So, I, I don't know. I would, I would get this dish again. This was $5.50. It was good. The cherry mousse was a little bit strange, but everything else was really good. Hmm. Yeah, if you like pistachios, get this. For sure. If you like pistachios and cherries, I should say, because the cherries are a very large part of this pistachio dish. So, Jackson is uh, not wanting to sit in his stroller right now, so Daddy has him. Um, I think now that he can walk, he's very defiant as far as like sitting for any period of time. He, he really doesn't love it anymore. So I'm down here on the ground and I'm going to try this <laughs> pistachio cake. You guys want to see what I'm doing just so you know. Oh, you can't see me. He's dancing with Jackson and he likes it. Mmm. What did you try first? The, um, they're not really dried cherries, but they're just kind of like, they're very tart. They're like semi-dried cherries. Yeah. Um, very tart. Let's try this pistachio cake. Mmm, that's nice. Yeah, it's not super sweet at all. I love that. Mmm. Now, are you supposed to eat all of these things together? I don't think I love the cherry mousse. It's kind of like too tart on its own. Let me try it with the cake and see if you, if you mix the two, if that's like just the right flavor, you know? Okay, yeah. So I would recommend mixing a little bit of the mousse with the cake and by taking a bite like that. That has a great flavor. It just gives the pistachio cake a little bit of tartness, which is pretty nice. Oh, you like that, the cherry mousse? With, mixed with the pistachio cake. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and then let's try this. I just had to pick it up. It was too late. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is the cherry. Let's. I'm going to bite it in half. Mm, okay, yeah. So it's chocolate on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. Cover your eyes. Mm, very nice. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I thought that dish was pretty good. I would order this again, and it was so beautiful. I think that I like how some of the dishes are more beautiful than others, and sometimes those very beautiful dishes don't taste very good, but this one, beautiful and delicious. So, we like literally licked our plate clean. All right, we finished our food, and we're just gonna hop back in and check out some of the art real quick before heading off to our next location. Lots of Thomas Kincaid stuff. I like these that are like 3D. It's very neat. Also, I wanted to point out that we're here on a Thursday afternoon at about three o'clock and there's hardly anybody inside of World Show Place. Compared to the last time that we were in here, it was packed. Look at all these empty tables. I also wanted to point out that we are $18.50 in. That's what we've spent so far on this wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. Yeah. I'm a little bit full. I'm not full at all. We've been splitting everything, so. Okay. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> so last year we watched Trevor Carlton perform where he does like performance painting and he paints a painting really quickly to music. I always liked his style and I like this super goof one. It's cool. Yeah, I really like the, the Mickey and Minnie here, like these Aloha Mickey and Minnie. This is our first time getting a close up look at some of the festival merch. I didn't know they had masks. So they have a spirit jersey mask. They all look like they're different tie-dye too, like they, none of them look the same. Yeah. Huh. And they match the spirit jersey. I gotta say, I don't love the spirit jersey, it's not my favorite. Right. But I do like the mask. Let's see. <laughs> figment loves pigment. I like that figment though. Oh yeah, it's pretty fun. 
It's really neat looking. And I like the design of these characters too. Yeah. And then this is the official artwork for the festival. The official poster. Pretty cute. It's the fifth annual 2021. Further and further into World Showcase we go. We actually made it around to France this time. I know, we're doing it. Yeah. All right, we're over here at Vibrante and Vivado, which is just past France, but before the Morocco Pavilion. And we're getting the blue corn pupusa. And so you know it's on the trail because of this symbol. But I've seen pictures of this passion fruit moose, and it looks like it should be on the trail. I know, yeah. I kind of want to get that. Should we get yeah, it? Yeah, let's do it. All right, yeah. we're getting it. All right, we are almost done with our stamp. So we got one more stamp, and then the completer. We're doing pretty good. So this is the one that I was the most excited for because everybody said this one was so delicious. OK. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, we got the passion fruit thing, oh, too. Oh, yeah, this looks awesome. This looks great. Everybody said it was so good and it's like filled with cheese, the actual oh. like bottom thing. Okay. So yeah, let's go, let's go try it. Here it is, the blue corn pupusa stuffed with cheese and topped with shredded pork, gahillo and arbol chili sauce, cabbage slaw, and aji amarillo crema. All right, you read it. I think you did pretty good. I don't know, there was a couple things that I messed up on. Okay, it's a blue corn pupusa stuffed with cheese and topped with shredded pork, guajillo and arabal chili sauce, cabbage slaw, and aji amarillo crema. That's right. what you said. I, I said yeah. ar argabal. <laughs> You're close. <laughs> <laughs> the princesses are going by in their cavalcade. Hi, princesses. Oh, wow. He's like, he was too distracted about his food. Oh, maybe there is a like cheese there inside. Is cheese oh, there in is. There. Yeah, there's a little cheese pocket in there. You kind of see it? A little cheesy pocket. Is it real good? So good. Okay. This is spicy. Oh, good. This looks exciting. It's so good. Everybody said it was like the best thing at the festival, and they are not wrong. The corn was a little bit of a surprise to me. Really? Yeah. Oh. That's an interesting spice too, because it's front of the tongue spice. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think haven't it's... had front of the tongue, tongue spice in a long time. What what makes it front of the tongue? Whatever pepper it is. That's delicious. Yeah, I love that. I would order a whole one just for myself. I do wish it was a little bit more saucy for yeah. the pork. How much was this? Six fifty. Six fifty. Totally worth so it. So where are we at now? Was it uh, 18, 1850 plus six fifty? Fifteen fifty. That's below 1850. We oh. saved money. <laughs> All right. 20, 25. All right. Oh, it's like really jiggly. Yeah, it looks like it melted just a little bit. It does. As we were eating the other thing. What is this? It's a splatter. I think it's mango. Oh. Ooh, okay, so it's like cheesecake? Oh, okay. Or mousse. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. This is really good. Oh, wow. Oh, and there's a jelly in there too. Do you see that red jelly? Oh, it's oh, in the middle. You see it? Oh, there's a big shot of it right there. That looks good. Wow, this is delicious. Okay. It tastes very citrusy. And I then like that. The inside is. That's the passion fruit. And then the little crunch on the bottom is amazing. That's really good. It's not real sweet. It's kind of tartish. I would totally order that again. I think that this, the, both of the things we got from this booth, 100% I would order again. Yeah, come to Vibrante, Vibrante and Vivido. <laughs> How much was this one? Do you remember? 475. That's a steal. And the last thing on our list was the mouse kachow. Mouse cow chow. I'm going to be honest. It does not sound very good. No. But it's on the list, so we got to try it. Also, the music you're hearing right now is the princess is coming by again. Oh, look, there's Belle. She's giving you a kiss. Did you see Belle say hi to you? So we still don't know if we're pronouncing this right, but we believe it's Mouse Cow Chow. And this is orange cake with cinnamon orange chocolate mousse. So I think because a lot of the ICP, the International College Program students, are, are not here right now because of everything that's going on, um, the people who are working the booths aren't necessarily from that country right. so they don't when we asked nobody knew how to pronounce it well also morocco and disney broke off their contracts so. Oh, so there wouldn't be anybody from morocco anymore right oh okay well we asked the cast member at the booth they couldn't they didn't know how to pronounce it so we don't know how to pronounce it they just so. said orange cake yeah so i'm sorry if we're not saying that right we did try um but i love this little piece of white chocolate underneath yeah, it looks it's like, like a tile yeah it's really cute like very beautiful there's a little piece of candied orange peel on top I wonder what the green is. Probably pistachio. I feel like everything is pistachio. 
So here's a look at the inside. Can you put it just in the light? Yeah. What do you think? Looks weird? Looks good? Looks pretty, uh, pretty okay. Okay, I'm gonna try a little quarter of it. And I think there's like a sponge cake underneath. It smells good. Tastes just like a chocolate orange. Oh no. You're gonna hate this. Oh darn. So we're not fans of chocolate orange, but if you are, you will love this. It literally tastes just like a chocolate orange on top of a sponge cake. <laughs> Not a fan. All right, this bottom tile thing, I believe, is white chocolate, but I can't get it to break apart because the, like, the design is one piece. Oh, there no. it goes. Uh oh, Jaxie. Let's give him some of the cake. Just white chocolate. Yeah, we like bonded on it though. Oh, okay. Jackson, you want to try some? Jackson, you want some? No. Okay. Okay. All right. Not a fan. <laughs> so you wouldn't order this one again? No. Okay. And all together we spent twenty nine seventy five. Now we are all done with all of the food that we have to purchase. Now we're trying to find our completer cookie, and that's actually back by the entrance. So we're just gonna do the full walk around World Showcase and head back over because we are halfway around right now. So no big deal. So we are just headed back to pretty much where Spaceship Earth is over there. All right, we've got all of our stamps. We're just missing the completer treat stamp. Right, and that's here at Decadent Delights. And the nice thing about this whole thing is that you don't have to wait in line. You just go right up to this window over here that says Colorful Cuisine, and you just show them your book and they hand you the completer cookie. See, completer cookie window. Redeem your wonderful walk of Colorful Cuisine stamped festival passport here for your colorful complimentary cookie. So if you're here on a really busy day and the line is like all the way out to Spaceship Earth, you don't have to worry about it because you just go right here. Well, look at that. There it is. This one, this cookie seems a lot more produced than some of the other food around here. Oh yeah, I think it's just easier this way. I yeah. get it, yeah. So we gotta Let's try give it. it a try. Yeah. And over here next to Decadent Delights, there is a whole description of the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. So here's something that I wanted to mention is that you can purchase any five menu items. So you can purchase this one five times. Right. This one five times. You don't have to purchase all five of these. You just have to purchase five of these. Right, so the ratatouille is the only thing that's vegan, and if you're vegan, you're thinking to yourself, oh, I can't do this because I don't want to eat the blue corn pupusa because it's got pork in it. You don't have to. You just got to eat a lot of ratatouille. Yeah. So I thought that was actually really cool. So you could actually save money that way too. You could just get five of those, save okay. like nine bucks. But we only spent twenty nine seventy five, so yeah. almost $30. Right. So this was a $30 cookie. <laughs> well, it says here, after you've pleased your palate, I think that's really funny because you're filling out the palate on the okay. back of your, the stamps are in the palate. You just bring it here and you get your wiener cookie. And you don't have to do it all in one trip. No, you can so do you it. So you can come you can back. You take a whole festival to do it if you want. So this is such a beautiful cookie. Standard sugar cookie. It's like a butter cookie. Oh, okay. That sounds delicious. Yeah. Pretty nice. I think it's a great like completer treat. I wonder how this works for people who are vegan. Can they not do the trail? I don't know. Is that not is it because it's butter? I think it probably isn't vegan, yeah. Hmm. If I had to guess. It's a good question. Yeah. It's pretty good though. It tastes very buttery. Okay. Yeah. But I guess they do have vegan butter. Yeah. I don't know. Want to try it? Yeah. Pretty standard. But it's pretty good, right? Yeah. Do you think the trail was worth it? Like, do you think that we got $30 worth of food? No. No? Would you do it again? I mean, yeah, because we do it every year. But like, as just a regular guest, do you think a regular guest should do it? I mean, it's kind of fun because you can like try new things that you haven't tried before. Right. That's the whole festival though. Yeah. I would rather just like order whatever I wanted. <laughs> right. So of everything like that we did order, I would 100% order the blue corn pupusa. Yeah. I would 100% order the um, the cake, the pistachio cake. Mm -hmm. And I think I would try the ratatouille again. I don't think I would. You don't think so? I just I've wanna been, see if it's better next time. I've been turned off from the ratatouille. Have you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would at least get two of the items for sure again. Yeah. Okay, are those the two you would get? Yeah, and I would get that, I know this wasn't on the trail, but I would get that passion fruit. Oh again. yeah, that was so delicious. Was really that was in the same place that we got the blue corn pupusa. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Epcot's Festival of the Arts. 
to try the colorful world of cuisine, <laughs> the wonderful <laughs> walk of colorful, colorful cuisine. cuisine. That's what it was. Yeah, it was fun. I did enjoy doing it. I don't know that I would do it again. Oh, like, I was like, I didn't understand what was honking. It was the friendship boat. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's worth the price. Right. If you're ordering each item that's on the list, so we right. ended up spending twenty nine seventy five. I, I just don't think it's worth the price. Right. I don't. I think a lot of the food at the festival is overpriced for what it, for what it is. Now, that's not to say that the other walks at other festivals aren't worth it. So, like the cookie stroll, yeah, I'd do that again. Oh yeah. Like I'm sure it's 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 expensive, just as expensive as this was, but I don't know. It's cookies, you know. I think it just it's very subjective. So just because we don't think it's worth it doesn't mean that we don't think that you should try it. Right. You know. I don't know. So just take what everything, take everything we say with like a grain of salt. You know what I mean? Right. Just for us personally, I don't think it was worth it. But I did enjoy some of the items on the list. Yeah. So. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. I'm Nick. This is Sarah from Williamsburg, Virginia. Now it's time to pay the price.